Welcome to Car Seeing Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia cars. I actually did review a Kia Sportage gasoline model. Go check it out on the video above because on that one, I covered a lot about the exterior, the interior. I did a uh, intensive review out of that one. I came out to test drive a Sportage again, but it's HEV, the hybrid model. I just pulled out this car from underground parking lot from level six. Already, I can feel that this is a different car, way different car from the gasoline model that I have test driven. When I tap gently on the accelerator, the power is all there. And I already felt this when I was climbing out of the underground parking lot, but there was no shortage on torque or power whatsoever. Wow, I can already feel that this is so comfortable. This is going to be a great, great city driver car. Uh, let's see how it does. Right now, it's marked at 3.6 kilometers per liter. And obviously, that's because I just started driving. Now, it bumped up to 3.7. Imagine how further this would go. Um, I have about 30 minutes with this car and I actually want to spend the whole time driving this car around because that's what the hybrid is all about and also I am driving the city roads so it will actually benefit the most in terms of the MPG. Very very looking forward to it. It's already 4.1 and I drove like what 200-300 meters? I keep on saying this, but I can already immediately feel that there is plenty of torque and power from that motor uh, during the city drives. Uh, when I am actually starting to crawl, when I'm starting to move my car from a halt, I don't really feel that moment of where the engine is kicking in when I need the power. Because um, for those of you guys who have driven hybrid or own a hybrid, especially the earlier model, you guys know exactly what I mean. Let me try my best to feel and pinpoint that moment if there is thanks to that platform it provides a humongous space inside both the first row and the second row as well it really feels like a very different model when I make a comparison to that of the predecessor because the car's gotten so much bigger and I felt that exactly from Tucson but also I'm feeling that already from this Sportage and brilliant job with this um, flag type glass right there I've been loving this ever since I spotted this from a Genesis GV80 this helps eliminate a lot of blind spot there is a huge difference of having a blind spot starting from here all the way to there versus having a little bit of this and that and having actually the site available right at that point especially short um, kids and child children playing around in the neighborhood for the first time ever in 2022 Kia Sportage there is e-handling and e-ride and e-ride essentially is a drive mode you know that you can't really choose but the car does it on its own that will do the best to deliver deliver the most comfortable drive on roads especially especially on speed bumps so when there is a speed bump and then when the car detects that you're going over the speed bump it will actually send the regenerative brakes using the motor the backwards so that it actually counters the movement of this sportage going over the hump i want to test that out that's the reason why i am on smart mode active only under smart mode along with the e-ride that i just explained there is e handling so the e handling is essentially when you are making sudden maneuver sudden handling there's like a deer bumping out or maybe like a you know goose test excuse me moose test i said goose test so such thing as like a moose test there actually is a test called moose test so when you are actually maneuvering your steering wheels super quick and fast like this or like that or whichever the direction the e-handling will come in to aid and help you turning the steering wheel quickly in terms of the responsiveness and also the result as well but when you have actually made that sudden maneuver and coming back this is the smart one it will make necessary counterbalance so that you don't lose the balance of the car because it's not so much when you are actually making the initial move, but when you are countering the steering wheel backwards, that's when you lose the entire balance. The MPG just keeps on going up 
Now I'm marked at 9.6 kilometers per liter. I'm going on a little bit of a bumpy road right now. The road condition is not the best one because the road itself is bouncy. I can feel the bounce coming back off from the road, but it doesn't bother me at all. The suspension is set and tuned all right to a point where it can actually deliver some kind of a sporty driving while providing some of the comfort ride. When it comes to 2022 Kia Sportage, the fastest car on the trim in terms of the engine types the hybrid is the fastest it's currently marked at eight seconds from zero to 60 and next up is diesel model thanks to the heavy torque the zero to 60 on diesel around nine seconds gasoline model that is marked at 10 seconds for 0 to 60. So just um, you know keep in your mind the numbers 8, 9, 10 accordingly. Hybrid is the fastest. Next up diesel. Next up is gasoline. This is the best car out of the all three but at a cost of course. This is also at the same time the most expensive one in the family. This car is hooked up with 18 inch tire for best MPG as well. When it comes to smaller tire there is going to be bigger thicker tire on the sidewall. The proportion wise the number gets bigger. I bet it's about 50 if not 45 or could be 55 but I want to say 50 percent. There is more room for the tires to absorb the impact so it takes a a little bit longer for the feedback to be delivered to the driver to the steering wheel so it loses some of the sportiness or the responsiveness when it comes to that one however the 18 inch with thick tires provides you know better and smoother comfortable let me hit the pothole so I hit the pothole on purpose and that it was just so smooth smooth like butter <laughs> smooth like butter okay it gives you the good driving quality I feel so comfortable just look at look at what you're getting from the video right now it's not the best conditioned road it feels so comfortable so relaxing going right now And there is the previous model, the Sportage. Uh, it feels so, so comfortable. I gotta mention that this 12.3 dual screen left and right. This is not connected, but there is another one here. And actually, the one in the right in the middle is blocked by this portion of the steering wheel anyway. I'll lower the cost using two displays, but it's not connected, so it's cheaper that way. But they have this beautiful beautiful curved display and I actually like this on um, black bezel compared to a white version of that of the Ionic 5s and whatnot I just did go over the speed bump and there's another one there's a lot of speed bump here I don't know if I feel like immediate difference but like it goes over the speed bump really smooth that is for sure and this is the car I have today. Let's check out this black color. I love this one. And actually, this is a different model from when it comes to the trim. This is a different trim than the one that I have just driven before. It has a different bumper on the front as well as one on the back. And as we can see, there is a hidden rear wiper on the back. When you actually come around, like right here, you can see the cladding is finished in plastic instead of the body meshed color. You wouldn't really be able to tell that much, but actually this is a slightly higher than other diesel or gasoline model because this car being a hybrid, and that is because there is battery sitting on the second row seat. And due to that reason being, a little bit of the second row seats are bumped up and also the, one of the differences is that when you lower the second row seat, the second row seat does not dive down unlike the gasoline model that I have test driven. This is slightly tilted up as well and which is carried over to the trunk compartment as well because of the second row seating higher, 
from start of the end of the trunk line, it actually slowly rises up. I don't know if the camera will be able to capture that, but that's how it is. And that being said, because of that reason, the trunk right here is actually shorter a little bit compared to a regular ice and diesel model. The biggest subtle difference is that this is the only thing that you get when you get hybrid, when you pay the most expensive one and this is the only emblem that actually differentiates. I just love the design of this Kia Sportage. You see right here, let's check out the tires and this is 235 60 18. So that's 60. Wow. I I was, you know, I was giving it maybe like 50 at most, but that is 60 right there. Just the one big piston caliper brake right here. Seems like the rotor size seem a little small and also the brake. Well, I don't know about the brakes, but the rotor seems a little small for you know given how big this car is but again Hyundai Kia now know very well in terms of those things and they know that this is plenty to have this car driven around well this is an 18 inch so a little bit of a sacrifice when it comes to the design however best MPG and the best drive comfortability on the roads let me show you one with the blinkers on and this is with the blinkers on all right, let's get back home. Speed bump, not braking. Oh, yeah. Right there, I felt it. So right there, I felt it. The the E-Ride kicking in. On a tall speed bump like that one, you get the crazy rebound from the back and you can actually feel the suspension has been stretched all the way out. All right, just a gentle, gentle city drives and the number just keeps on going up 11.3 it just keeps going up due to a very short driving distance i have a kilometer left and i've driven 14 so i only drove like 15 to 16 kilometers it's not enough of a you know driving distance to compile and gather up come up with the best mpg here but it's just amazing the infotainment system here shown is also brand new thanks to Gia because uh, this infotainment system is shared pretty much all throughout the different trims and different cars in Gia family K8 for sure and also Gia EV6 I recently did a review test drive on that one also check it out and thanks to all that Gia Sportage 2022 model got this beautiful 12.3 displays both left and right you know the bigger brother of this car sportage sorrento did not get this system sportage has got all the benefit from being uh, you know the latest update in the family thus far it got the best thing straight from ev6 it's soft on the brake it's not too stiff you it relatively delivers a linear brake feedback and overall overall review of this 2022 Gia Sportage hybrid is that this is the best car out of all three out of the gasoline out of the diesel and I almost think that Gia has saved everything their technology and everything to this hybrid model I think hybrid pulls out the best out of this Kia Sportage. No stress driving during the city roads. Best has the highest power and highest performance. Gives you a brilliant, brilliant MPG. What more can I say? If you are debating anything in terms of the engine types, unless it's the money that is an issue, you've got to go with hybrid, period.